thank you, thank you. God bless you, global Christian friends, American people, and public out there. The King James Bible, seventh chapter of the Gospel of Luke. And I want to make it quite clear that God uh, promised, and he promised us names better than sons and daughters. And if God promised us names better than sons and daughters in Isaiah 56 and 5, why are we so hung up on extinguishable titles, which say in Job, if I give flattering titles, my maker hmm, will soon take me away. So don't get hung up out there on flattering titles. Some of us are so hung up on flattering titles. Bishops, elders, pastors, apostles, evangelists. I've seen them all. I've heard them all. I've a name them all. And we need to understand these kinds of things coming from the Lord uh, and concentrate on Him. Now, going over into Luke, the seventh chapter, we stopped the last time at the 26th verse where uh, you'll find the companion scripture in Matthew chapter 11, verses 2 through 19. <clears throat> Wherein Jesus said here in Luke 7 and 26, But what went ye out to see? A prophet? Now, listen to these words. Yea, I say unto you. Now, I love it when Jesus make that kind of statement. Yea, I say unto you, or I say unto thee, or verily, verily, I say unto thee. What went ye out for to see a prophet? I say unto you, yea, much more than a prophet, much more than a prophet, for the Bible had called him already in this first chapter of Luke and in the 76th verse it called him the prophet of the highest. Now, this is where we have to, or uh, Anabi, this is where we have to come into the knowledge of understanding higher things and higher knowledge and higher callings of God. Uh, the Apostle Paul said, I'm pressing for the mark of the higher calling of God. Here he's called much more than a prophet being first called by his father Zechariah the prophet of the highest. So what is the difference in a prophet 
or Nabi of the highest and being much more than our prophet. And we don't look into these things to understand uh, these things the way that we ought to. We said that God had greater things and high rewards than those that are written. But we don't basically pay attention to the Bible the way that we actually ought to. We don't put forth the time in the way that we need to. Oh, we're saying the song, put your time in, payday is coming after a while. Put your time in, payday is coming after a while. But basically, when you think that way, you preach and teach that way, you're thinking and preaching about the wrong payday and the wrong reward. Because some of you out there think that you're going to shout all over God's heaven. Wrong. Ain't going to happen. Some of you think out there, oh, I'm going to see my wife when I get there. Wrong. Ain't going to happen. I'm going to see my husband when I get there. Wrong. Ain't going to happen. But you're making enemies by making those statements. Wrong. I don't care. I am defending the truth as it is known. You heard what Jesus said. In the resurrection, they neither married nor are given in marriage, but they are as the angels. And there is no male and female gender among the angels. There are ordered hierarchies. So how are you going to be able to identify your wife? Oh, you can call her an angel all you want while you're on earth. Oh, you're an angel. you got angel eyes. A lot of us are guilty of that. You're part wrong. You're part right. You call her an angel. There's an old song long ago, Earth Angel, Earth Angel. They came down to earth. But you better know the word if you're going to go up into it. We're not trying to dissuade you, but we're trying to persuade you against the tyranny of men, the lying of men, against the what the apostle Paul called, I want to make sure I, I got enticing words of men. Oh, what comes in their mouth comes out of their mouth. It is not weighed at all. It is not put in the balance. And you jump up and shout. I heard someone say just a day or so ago that they stood up and screamed at the pastor and turned to someone sitting right next to them and say, it's so amazing that a fool can preach so, so hard. Think about that statement. It's so amazing that a fool can preach so hard. I got news for you. Fools don't preach hard. God bless you, global Christian friend. God bless the American people, public and government. We love you, pastors around the globe. Uh, 